How long does the radiation therapy stay in your body? And are people concerned? Mm -hmm. um, I can imagine, uh, get, can I get near my children? Right. Right? Do they ask you right. those questions? Yeah, that's a great question, and that's a common question. So with x-ray therapy or with proton therapy, any of these external beam radiation treatments, there is really no radiation left in the body after the treatments are done. So it's similar to when you get a CAT scan, for example, there's no radiation afterwards. You don't have to be in isolation or be away from other people. So uh, for, for patients who are receiving radiation therapy with external beam radiation, you are safe to be around other patients. However, we were talking before uh, about internal radiation therapy where uh, there's implanted radiation in the body, and that's a different scenario. Uh, that's a scenario where there could be safety precautions that you would need to discuss uh, with your radiation oncologist uh, moving forward. So for our viewers out there, maybe someone is uh, going through some radiation therapy, or maybe you know someone that's going through the treatment right now. What are the chances that the cancer will spread or come back after the therapy? Is, is there a percentage? Uh, so that really is a, it really is dependent on the type of cancer that you're treating. Um, so it's it's very difficult to answer that question. That's a with tough one. one. I know. Exactly. I know. So, um, but I will tell you that there's a spectrum from, uh, so I'll give me an example. So for early stage lung cancer, in which we would give high, high dose radiation, ablative uh, radiosurgery type of doses, uh, the likelihood of the cancer coming back where we treated it is upwards of, or the control rates are upwards of 95% or even higher. Um, so there are very, very high success rates with with uh, that type of treatment. Wow. Uh, but of course, uh, we, we would have to tailor it to each person's situation. All right, and when it comes to cost, because I know that's always a concern for patients, mm -hmm. what do you tell them? Is it covered by insurance, doctor? Absolutely, so radiation therapy is one of the pillars of cancer care, just like chemotherapy and surgery. So it is a well-established uh, standard of care. Uh, it has been so for decades. So. Uh, radiation therapy for, for, uh, is, is routinely actually used for about two-thirds of all cancer patients, and as a standard of care, it is covered by insurance. Um, of course, experimental treatments we would need to talk about uh, on clinical trials, and that, sure, that would sure. be different.